Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, the Linux Foundation, for this opportunity and for hosting this great event. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to learn and share. Uh, yeah, I will be here presenting the uh, Telnex use case of migrating services from the cloud to a DC enabled by Community Sonic. Yeah, the agenda, it will be basically uh, presenting the use case, uh, presenting the solution, and discussing some of the issues and lessons learned during the process. Yeah, who I am, uh, who is this little guy, right? So, uh, I'm Alessandro Veras. I'm a network engineer at Telnex. Uh, I've been in the market for the past 18 years, uh, working with big ISPs in Brazil, and mainly with pr proprietary solutions, uh, big vendors like Cisco, uh, Juniper. So, yeah, I know both sides. Uh, this was my first experience with white box switches and open source uh, NOS, and it was great, actually. So I'm basically a user of all of the community does, and thank you for that. Yeah, so what's uh, our use case? So basically, Telnex is a communication as a platform uh, company. Uh, we have thousands of customers. And for that reason, we hold uh, thousands of instances and servers in big clouds like uh, Google Cloud, Amazon, and IBM. Uh, so at 2021, we started developing a new product, uh, a storage service that's based in open source technology, uh, not open source, sorry, blockchain technology. And for that, uh, the first challenge was how to implement a reliable and cost-effective data center fabric uh, because the goal was to have that in on-premises uh, data center. Uh, so <clears throat> now uh, it was a successful uh, POC and now we have seven sites uh, operational across the U.S. And for that product and the next step was clear, right? So why not leverage this infrastructure for the main products besides the storage one? So yeah, we now currently have a POC. So basically we migrate a lot of service to one of the, uh, what we call edge pop sites. And uh, we are saving thousands of dollars by doing that right now. And of course, we have a plan to uh, migrate everything we have in the cloud to our DC. So what we did, uh, it was uh, we deployed a, a classic spinal leaf uh, design architecture. So in our implementation, we have six, uh, six spine switches uh, in the fabric and 24 leaves uh, distributed among uh, 13 racks. Uh, yeah. And for uh, the boxes we use, it's basically a 32 by 100G uh, switch. And we are currently running version 2021.11 of Sonic, of Community Sonic. Uh, processing power, so what we have on those data centers today. It's basically 50 machines uh, in this phase. We are actually expanding. Uh, 50 machines with two uh, CPUs of 64 cores, two terabytes of RAM. And we have 20 storage machines with a lot of uh, disk capacity. Uh, for host integration, how we integrate hosts, uh, it's basically uh, they are uh, multi homed so we have two switches on each rack, and they are dual connected using 100G interfaces uh, using DAC cables. Uh, for redundancy, we use MCLAG. Uh, it's working fine with 
a unique IP gateway. So we provide a single gateway for the hosts for simplicity. And for, for some hosts, uh, we use BGP. Uh, the routing design, it's based on RFC 7938. Uh, we run a full layer three fabric. We don't, we don't support layer two uh, in, in the fabric right now. Uh, each leaf has its own AS number. Uh, so uh, we, we use it a convention for signing that. So we basically uh, took 65,000 plus the switch ID. So for leaf one that has ID one is 65,001. Uh, the spinal layer, it's basically uh, has a single IS because they are standalone switches. So there is no BGP sessions between the spines. And the, the edge layer that it's the layer responsible to, for interconnecting the data center with other stuff like the internet and the Telnex backbone. It also runs over a single AS. So it's all eBGP. Uh, so we don't need an IGP. We, we don't need uh, reflectors. So it's a simple, uh, it's a simple solution for us. Uh, regarding server integration, uh, we basically contain the layer two domain on each rack. So we have some VLANs that's only local to that rack. Uh, and we basically use BGP to announce the, the subnets related to those VLANs. And in this scenario, we have a full equal cost multipath uh, design. So we can load balanced traffic to both lifts at the same time. Uh, regarding to route, route propagation, so how it works. So basically, all, everything starts at the leaves. So as I said before, we have some VLANs uh, for the hosts in the leaf layer, uh, but we also have some uh, static routes or uh, some routes we learned via BGP. Uh, we, we host uh, Kubernetes nodes uh, running Calico in some of these hosts, so we run BGP also. Uh, and we advertise these to, to the spines and following the BGP rules, everything we learn from an eBGP neighbor, we also will advertise to other eBGP neighbors. So all the prefix the spines learns from the leaves, they re-advertise to all the fabric. Uh, we, uh, we have a border leaf layer that's not a dedicated device in our case, but it's basically a leaf uh, with a connection to uh, our edge layer. And uh, at the edge layer, we do some uh, aggregation in the routes we receive it from the fabric to optimize the advertisements to the internet and also to the Telnex backbone. Uh, fabric and internet security. Uh, so basically it's, it's something nice uh, because we, for some hosts, we provide a public IP. So it's native, it can talk to the internet directly. Uh, but for some others, we just need uh, internet access to download packages, install up, up, uh, updates and stuff like that. So we don't have a public IP for those. And uh, to provide basic internet access for those uh, hosts, we are actually running VPP. Uh, VPP is another, I don't know if you guys know, but it's another open source project. And it basically transforms the uh, bare metal uh, host into a router. Uh, yeah, I, I know uh, Sonic is developing uh, uh, an integration with v, uh, VPP for data plane. So it will probably in the future, I will be running Sonic in, the, in those devices as well. Uh, so it's, it's really, uh, really performatic. We are currently uh, able to forward and net 
more than 200 giga gigabits per second uh, using only two CPUs on the host. Yeah, and related to automation, how, how we, what we do to deploy that, because we have a lot of devices, we need to install Sonic, we need to uh, provide configuration. So uh, basically day zero configuration, how the uh, device uh, gets IP addressing and uh, install Sonic, we leverage the only uh, uh, discovery feature so each time a new device is connected to the management network, uh, it, it is provided by an IP address and a URL, uh, and we and Onyx kicks in and download the Sonic image and self-installs uh, the image related to to that device. And after that phase, all the devices in the fabric should have an IP for management and the Sonic installed. And then we have uh, uh, Ansible playbook uh, that basically does 99% uh, of the fabric provision at day one. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm, we did a model for that. So basically now when we need to deploy a new site, all we need to do is kind of change 10% or maybe 20% of that model to uh, include of course new IPs and, and stuff that's only related to that site. And then we hit a button, we run the playbook and everything works fine. It's another uh, great stuff with, with Sonic, it's easy to automate. Uh, and it's, for a network engineer, it's pretty beautiful to run a playbook and see all the BGP sessions, uh, connectivity running and it's, it's really great. Yeah, the, the monitoring solution we are uh, using right now, it's all based on open source uh, tools. So probably I will add Suzy Q on, on that. Uh, but ba today we have lab Library NMS running for inventory uh, monitoring and alerting. Uh, we also have Prometheus uh, for metrics and alerting and Grafana for dashboards. And we use Graylog for Sys, uh, syslog. Uh, lessons learned. Uh, first one, it, it was hard to find out that we needed to compile uh, Sonic from the source code to have MCLAG enabled. Uh, yeah, that, that was one. And in this version, we find uh, a memory leak in the SNMP container. So from time to time, we need to uh, reset the Docker, the SNMP Docker container to release some memory. Uh, and we also find a, a, found a, a MC lag bug. It basically crashes from time to time. And another thing that we uh, find difficult to implement is uh, eVPN, at least with the platform we have now. Uh, and we are we are we have a partner now that's working with us to to implement that uh, because we are uh, we are hoping to implement uh, some virtualization on this network and for that it's being required layer two. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's all I have. If you want to contact me, that's my email. Any if you have any questions. Uh, anything I can share with the community about this experience, I will be happy to do it. Any questions? Thank you very much.